Hi all, welcome back to the Spruce Gate Modeling. Today I'll be painting some German infantry in 135th from Tamaya. So here are figures. I'm using two for a little uh, winter vignette. And um, both of these are from Tamaya's pretty good 8.8 centimeter flak kit. Um, it's an officer and the driver for the BMW um, R75 motorcycle. So I'm gonna start how you might expect it. I'm going to be base coating these guys with um, German field gray on the entire uniform. It's okay if you get some overspill here. I like to do it at this step because I can use a larger brush to just get it done a little bit faster. Um, now I'm gonna be painting the flesh. I'll do another video on painting the flesh um, later, but in essence, I just build up layers of flesh colored highlights. Um, I also paint the eyes white with little dots for pupils. Um, so now here, I'm gonna be giving the uniform some highlights or um, First, I'm actually gonna hit it with some shadows, you know, just darkened field gray, um, followed by light and field gray for the highlights. Add some depth to the uniform, make sure the shadows are deep enough that they there's a clear difference. That's a problem I've had before, but make sure that they're not too dark, that they look completely unnatural. So now I'm gonna be painting the painted metal bits. This is, you know, the helmet, the gas mask canister, binoculars, these get a nice coat of German camo dark green, um, and the wood gets flat brown. The flat brown um, will get followed by a highlight of German camo pale brown. It's at this stage, you really gotta make sure that there is no overspill. You just have to make sure that what you're getting is uh, what you're getting. You should not go over any of the lines. So now I'm gonna be painting the, uh, the gaiters with khaki. These aren't that visible on this figure, um, but you know, there's still enough of them down at the bottom that it's worth painting them instead of just painting it all boot color. Um, speaking of boot color, I'm now going to be using a alternative black, which is just a really dark gray that I mixed up for all of the black leather. So boots and webbing, as well as all of the metal, the bare metal. Basically anything that you would normally paint black gets this. This is followed by a highlight of gunmetal gray, and that's it. Pretty simple, pretty effective way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.